welcome to today's video. Today, I have an extra special cocktail for my ladies out there. Guys, you can drink it too, but let's be real. This is going to be a very cherry kind of cocktail. Now, you'll know what I'm talking about in just a second. Put some ice in there. These are going to be, again, very simple ingredients. Cherry vodka, grapefruit tonic water, fresh cranberry juice, fresh orange juice. That's it, that's it. That's all you need to have an intensely flavorful, wonderful, healthy cocktail. I hope you've been following along with all the cocktails I've been making so far, and I hope that you've tried them, and I hope that you've liked them. If you have, let me know. Let me know in the comments below if you've been following along, if you've been doing any of these, if you've tried any of them, tell me what you think. Are you still not quite sure about the healthy cocktails? I get it. It can be overwhelming for some people. We all have learned and we've adapted to what we think is normal. You go to a restaurant with your girlfriends and you get a Cosmo or you get, you know, something, just a cocktail and it's super, super sweet. You know, it doesn't have to be like that. I actually have gone to restaurants and gotten a cocktail and have actually asked for half the simple syrup to no simple syrup and they look at me like I'm an alien. But you know what? That's what I want or I just won't drink a cocktail. But I'm just gonna tell you, do yourself a favor, have cocktails at home, go have dinner, come back, have cocktails at home. It's just, it's much, much better, cheaper, easier, and way more healthy, and you'll still stay on track. So, here's another healthy cocktail for the summer, cherry vodka. Now, I've talked about Vail before, and they have some amazing flavors. I have, I would say, seven or eight bottles of Vail vodka in every flavor that they have. I love their vodka. It doesn't taste over-processed. It doesn't taste over-sugary. It's vodka with the flavor. Like, this is cherry. You taste it and you still taste the vodka. And it's like, ooh, there's cherry in it. It's not, ooh, cherry, and then there's the vodka. So to me, that's, that's a good vodka that's not over-sweet. So, homemade cranberry juice. I make my own cranberry juice. I did cranberry juice before, then I went to diet, but then I realized there's still a lot of preservatives and additives into these bottled products because they have to have a long shelf life. I don't want that either. I'm 50 years old, I'm taking care of myself, and I don't want that. If I can make it myself, I'm going to. Uh, I can put down in the description box, I can put how I made it. It's easy, it's really easy. It takes a little bit of time, but you know what? In the long run, it will save you so much hassle of just feeling like, I really wish I wouldn't have drank that. It will do you so much good to make your own flavors, I promise. Fresh squeezed orange juice, just a tad bit of that. Now. I'm gonna add this Busby's tonic water. Now, I have talked about this product also. If you follow me on Instagram, well, my new Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, I've talked about Busby's quite a bit. I use their tonic water. I found it, I wanted to try it, and it does not disappoint. 12 calories for this whole bottle, which I'm not gonna use the whole bottle, is flavored with their own honey. They have their own, but it's organic honey. And the smell is incredible. This is their grapefruit. I'm gonna put the grapefruit, I'm gonna to top it with that. See, look how much is left. I mean, you don't need much. I mean, you can make three or four drinks with just this. This is 12 calories for all of it. So, I mean, we're keeping the calorie and the sugar level low. Look, I mean, look how pretty that is. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. Now, I'm also gonna add some tart cherries. Now, you watch my videos before, you know I love to use cherries. I use tart and I use dark sweet. These are tart because this is gonna be kind of a sweet drink, so I kinda wanna balance those flavors. I'm also gonna add fresh mint, just one fresh mint leaf, and then, crazy enough, I'm actually gonna do a lime slice. I know that sounds 
kind of weird considering the ingredients I used, but I promise you that this is going to tie this whole drink together. Like, you see how pretty, it's almost like Christmas, but it's still, to me, cranberries can be used any time of year. They're great, they're flavorful, they're tart. Make it, I promise you, you're gonna love this. Cheers to another healthy cocktail. Mm. You taste the cherry, and then it kind of works along with the cranberry. These flavors are absolutely phenomenal together. This right here, I guarantee you're gonna go, wow, I can't believe the flavors. Try different things, put a bunch of things together. That's what I do. I stand in my kitchen and I create recipes to bring to you so you can have just some flavorful, flavorful cocktails. I know I've said it in all my videos. So this is your first time watching. This isn't my first time I've said this. I promise you, I do what I can to make sure that you and I, we stay healthy, we stay on track, but we can also enjoy our cocktails. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I promise you, you and I can make some amazing things together. Like this, give me a thumbs up for this video. Stay with me for the rest of the summer because I will continue to bring you some truly amazing, refreshing, and fun, fun cocktails that you can enjoy with friends and family, sitting by the pool, out at the beach, or just at home relaxing. So thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in my next healthy cocktail. Cheers.